Today I'm testing out a pan that a subscriber sent me. This is a cast iron skillet that has some kind of texture to it and it's supposed to be non-stick cast iron. I did put a little butter in the pan and I'm gonna make a couple of fried eggs in it just to check and see because eggs seem to be one of the stickiest things and I've always had a problem with those using cast iron. Hello everyone, this is semi-retired Bob here. I talk about the carnivore diet all things related to the carnivore diet and miscellaneous odds and ends. As you can see, I'm not talented at cracking eggs because I had to fish an eggshell out of the pan because that's just the way I, I roll. I'm not a great cook. But if you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm glad you're here. Thanks for stopping by. If you're returning to the channel, welcome back. I... Uh, it means a lot to me that you choose to spend just a few moments of your day with me. I'd like to ask you to help me out just a little bit here. Go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Drop down in the comments and say hi Bob. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already. And hit that little bell notification as well. I do put out videos almost every day. Today's topic I want to talk just a little bit while we're waiting for the eggs to cook up here. The topic I have is now is all we have. Or I should say it's all we've got guaranteed. Yesterday is gone. It's over with. There's no use worrying about what we may or may not have done yesterday. And we're not guaranteed tomorrow. So today is what we have. We need to do everything we can today to make our life better. Make other people's lives better. You know, I I've, I've see a lot of people out there worrying about what they did. Oh, I went on a carboholic binge for three weeks and now I'm back up 20 pounds or I ate this or I ate that, I did the thing, you know, whatever it is you're doing, don't worry about it. It's over, it's gone, it's done. Just do what you can today to make yourself better tomorrow. As you can see, I uh, had to cover it up just a little bit with a lid to try and cook them up a little bit more on top. I'm checking the heat inside there. I was a little worried about them sticking because eggs always stick, but as you can see, they did not really stick at all. That's uh, pretty amazing. I'm very pleased with this. Thanks again, uh, Sandra, for sending me this skillet. It was, uh, it, so far it's passed all of the tests because one of the things I wanted to do besides just see if I could cook eggs in it because I'll, I will be very water will be in short supply when I'm down in Texas I want to be able to cook stuff and then just wipe it out with a a soft cloth so that I don't have to spend water to wash the pan every time I cook because I cook basically the same two or three things every day eggs ground beef and sometimes a little roast or a steak but it's mostly ground beef and eggs and I would like to be able to just after I pour the grease off from the ground beef what little bit comes off of it to save for cooking other things I don't want to have to take a pan down there to Texas with me that I need to submerge in soapy water and scrub to get clean and that's why I wanted a no stick pan and this so far seems to be giving me all of the all of the things that you get with a cast iron plus all of the things you get with a no stick I'm not sure what kind of coating is on this but so far it seems to be doing the job you can uh, see the eggs are frying away very nicely in the in the uh, butter now and we will click back over just as I'm about to I think I'm about ready to flip them here no I decided to let them cook just a little bit longer with the lid on there so we'll come back when I'm ready to try and flip these things 
And as you can see, I am getting ready to flip the eggs, just so I don't forget, because the end of this video happens pretty quick here. Um, don't forget, get out there, be 1% better today, tomorrow, every day. And as you can see, I'm not a great cook. I don't do a very good job. These probably would have turned out quite a bit better if I had, uh, you know, if, I'm t if I was talented enough to flip them with the pan. But as you can see, they did not stick at all. There's a little bit of goop that slipped off as I was flipping them. But now we're going to bring the plate in here very shortly. So while we're waiting for the eggs to finish cooking here, just a reminder, do not worry about what you did yesterday. It's not worth worrying about. Don't worry about what's going to happen tomorrow. There's nothing you can do about tomorrow except today. Today you can do something that will improve your tomorrow. Very soon here I should be bringing the plate into view to see if I can make those eggs slide out of the skillet just the way you see it done on TV. And I was actually very, very pleased with this. So once again, Sandra, thank you very, very much. I really appreciate this skillet. Let's just, uh, oh, here it comes. Soup. Look at that. And look how clean that skillet is. Just a small wipe and we're done. That's what I've got for you today, folks. I hope you enjoyed this. See you in the next one.